Hello everyone, this is geologist Philip Ong with a Mauna Loa update. Here's an image of Mauna Loa summit right now, Mokua Veo Veo crater, covered in snowfall. I'll show you guys some of the signals of deformation up there on a volcano right now. Our most recent earthquake on a USGS earthquakes page is centered right here over the Kaoiki fault zone in between Mauna Loa volcano and Kilauea. And it came in at a 4.2 magnitude at a depth of 26 kilometers or about 16 miles down. So this is actually pretty far down, pretty deep, but this is an area connecting these two volcanoes. Let's check this out in a little more detail. Here's a cross section of a Hawaiian volcano the size of Mauna Loa. And you can kind of see that at, the, at that depth of 26 kilometers, we're down here below the crust in the upper part of the mantle, kind of in the surrounding solid rock through which the magma is rising up and through. But this is actually a settling event of this upper mantle that's brittle um, below the, the this very heavy volcano that's that's a uh, even bowling down a crust um, from its weight as it builds a pile of lava above the the crust mantle boundary right up there. That's one view. Uh, you can kind of see here's a different view. We've actually had a lot of earthquakes in this Kaoiki area that have relationships ships to eruptions of Mauna Loa but they're normally at the depths between 10 and 12 kilometers, or sometimes a little shallower than that, along this boundary between the oceanic crust and the, the base of the volcano of Mauna Loa here. There's also this zone of strike-slip faults. The ground moves, moves left, left and right, so there's a component of left and right and a component of sliding towards the ocean, and there's some unknown connection how this actually works. But all this is happening pretty shallow in the depths, somewhere around 8 to 12 kilometers down. So our event is way, way down beyond that, kind of below that whole stack. And you can kind of see here a little bit of, of implied magma systems beneath each volcano. Let's look out a little bit more in detail at that as well. Here we have a progression showing generalized progression from Loihi on the left to Kilauea to Mauna Loa. So here on the left we have a depth beneath, beneath sea level as a, a point of comparison. And here, if I scroll to the top, you can see Mokua Veo Veo, summit of Mauna Loa up here. It has a large magma system. That upper one kilometer above the magma chamber is that more brittle rock that kind of cap over top of the volcano there. And you can kind of see a, a large storage system uh, from sea level and up. And then you kind of see more of the feeder system that goes below all the way down to, in the case of Mauna Loa, somewhere around 10, 11 kilometers down. In case of Kilauea, a little bit shallower, right? Kind of Kilauea is a little bit smaller, but similar system to Mauna Loa as we see it over here. So if we look at 26 kilometers down, we are way down here off of our plot, in fact, somewhere down, somewhere in the rocks in between the feeder of Mauna Loa and the feeder of Kilauea. It happens to be below the junction of these volcanoes at the surface, but at that depth, it's really more to do with, a, with the overall depth rather than the location ne you know, uh, uh, nearby these feeder zones of the magma. Here's a Tilton GPS page from the USGS Hawaiian Volcano Observatory. What you can see is in the past week, on March the 6th, we had an event that rocked a tilt meter upwards and back down to where it was before. We've seen some reports of deformation of Mauna Loa. The big difference is not a whole lot between before this event and afterwards with just a little bit of shaking of the instrument in between during an earthquake that occurred. Just throwing the plot whole out of, uh, wholly out of scale here. So a big shift, but not really showing any of the minor changes in the volcano happening down here below. Same thing for the past month. You can see there are other smaller earthquake events that can cause little jumps up and down, but then back to the baseline here again. Okay, if we look at the GPS, the GPS has been showing an expansion across the summit of Caldera. Um, starting about mid-January or so. You can kind of see that over the last few months there has been no change and certainly no recent change within the last few weeks in the volcano's spreading rate. The volcano is certainly building and inflating with magma towards some future eruption, but no imminent signs of any activity coming anytime soon. Here's our earthquake map for the island. You can see here's our cluster of earthquakes on the summit of Mauna Loa. And of these, if I zoom in here, the one right in the middle right here, is a magnitude 3.2 at a depth of 3.4 kilometers above sea level. This is only half a kilometer below the surface of the volcano. This is above the magma chamber. Um, and in fact, many of these earthquakes actually are. It's possible to go on a USGS um, page and uh, look at the whole past month of earthquakes. We can see here the whole 
map of all the earthquakes in the past month around Mauna Loa summit. And scrolling down, we can see that earthquake rates are not increased. We can kind of see a more or less average amount. There's no real peak. We're running at earthquakes per day over here. Maximum value around 45. We need to be somewhere in a range of the hundreds to thousands per day to see a uh, build up towards an eruption on a volcano. And we are not seeing that at this point in time. We do a cross section through the earthquakes on Mauna Loa summit. I'll zoom in right in here through a box I've drawn on the diagram. And we can look at those patterns with depth. So you can kind of see here on the left is a depth and a zero. This is sea level and line about sea level right around here. You can see that all of the earthquakes at the summit within the past week or so have all been above sea level. So there is no movement of magma from deeper to shallower. Nothing like that's going on. More an adjustment above and around the magma chamber. As magma continues to fill it in, nothing to worry about there. And one last thing, finally, looking at Kilauea's tilts, we actually can see the signal of that 3.2 Mauna Loa earthquake registering Kilauea summit as well. Here it is on the Uekahuna station at the summit. We look at the Sand Hill station, we just see it, uh, as well as the earlier 8.1, 8.2 Kermitic Islands near New Zealand showing up on a signal as well. So visible across many of the stations on the summit. A little less clear there, we can see in the escape road, similar. There is the 8.2, that's the teleseism from New Zealand, and Mauna Loa 3.2 showing up over here. No surprises there, nothing to be alarmed about. All is quiet on Mauna Loa, and we will come back to you guys if we see signs that earthquakes increasing, of tilt increasing and persisting. Um, as of right now, uh, there is no significant change on Mauna Loa. Aloha, everyone.